Uh, what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video right here this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now this clip of Oren Major, my interview with Oren Major is a part that I think is not only an inspiration, but really even bigger than that, it's something that's super practical in a way that you should think about going from your day job to a full-time musician. And I'll give a little bit of backstory at the end. It's the network. So, like I said, with the whole playlisting system and all that, mm -hmm. it's way too possible to, to get paid and not really have like a fan base like if you're building from the ground up then i would definitely say go that route like find these people who can get your music out there because yep. now while you're gaining fans you're still getting revenue too you mm -hmm. know what i mean and if your music is good then they're going to stay fans so those people are going to continue to come and check for your music regardless on if you're on a playlist or not so yep. it's too possible like yeah i would recommend anybody do that i definitely don't recommend quitting your job i know a lot of people like just quit and don't have any like you still got to pay bills you got family you got to take care of or whatever the case may be and you just quit so you can focus on music on I'll, I'll never agree with that unless it's some other dark world stuff going on and <laughs> <laughs> hey man i agree with that 100 percent, man i'm i'm much more of a practical person than uh, you know, I think people spend a lot of time trying to create a great story so they can say they were homeless or something at one point in time. Man, <laughs> just, uh, I don't uh, want to be homeless, bro. <laughs> like, exactly. I think about it's it, like, never to go. yeah, you could definitely, like, I'm more, I will, I will risk my lifestyle so that I can have more time to build, but, you know what I mean? Like I said, I had quit my job, but I wasn't really making that much money. I was just making enough to replace the job. <laughs> Like, yeah. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go party or live. Like, yo, I'm making money off of music. It's like, nah, I ain't got no money, but I made money to pay the bills. Exactly. So, so now you can f yeah. focus on doubling that money. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. Every time I think about, like, it, it get hard sometimes. Um, as anybody in this type of industry knows, like, I get to thinking, like, maybe I should get a part-time or maybe I can just get a job on the weekends or something. But then every time I think like that, I go back to – okay, I'm taking away time that I could be using. Like, I feel like I'm being lazy if I just go get a job. Yep. At this point, I feel like I could figure out how to make that money for myself or do some things. Um, I tell people use all the strengths. Well, Jeranik mm -hmm. has told me that, and now I'm telling other people to tell. <laughs> like, use all your strengths. Like, because I'm not, I didn't, I couldn't afford, like, engineering. I couldn't afford mixing. I couldn't afford people to produce beats for me and all that stuff. So, that's what met, that's what had me like doing all that stuff myself. I learned from like YouTube and from just going to studios and seeing people do it and shit like he was like, Well shit, use those skills to bring in more revenue while you're doing that. If you love music, why not mix with somebody in the time that you have if you need some money or shoot somebody's videos and all that stuff. Yeah. So I still hate mixing for people. <laughs> <laughs> I still won't do that one. But any other, any other little thing I can do, I try to do. It's the network. All right, so Orin is at a point where he's making 20K alone just off of streaming, or at least that's what he did make, right? Make. But, and there's so many other aspects of making music, but when he did that, and, and not, not even that, that that's a lot of money when you talk about just living throughout an entire year, but even when he did he, uh, quit his job, he was just making a little bit of check off, off of streaming, but it was a one step at a time thing. So the practicality of thinking, hey, I'm going to make money off of streaming first. And that's what we discussed a little bit before that clip started. Right. Do you think that streaming is the, the first place to start? And it is one of the best places to start for a lot of artists when you're doing a job. Right. One of the best things you can do is just get on the computer and build your streaming because you don't have the opportunity to tour the time to tour necessarily go out of the house and get into all these other environments. But if you can get your streaming check up just to replace your, your income now, it depends on how much money you make. You might be making 50, 60 K a year, then it might be harder for you to adjust your lifestyle. If you're living like that. But if you're working at a especially like what? a minimum wage job, then you can probably replace that with streaming with some hard work and take in a little bit of time. So if you do that and focus on that first, and now you're just in the industry all the time after that, right? You, I'm, 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 I'm making my money off of music and now I can use my strengths, as Jeranica said, to make other money and, but stay around these people. So that way I'm 
everything I'm doing energy wise is in one direction. Even if it's not directly what I want to do, I'm working with these people that I might want to work with in the future, get put myself in position for other opportunities. And then I'm still working on my stuff at the same time. So that's something to keep in mind. It's definitely a practical way that I've seen a lot of people move and I'm all about practicality. You know, this whole burn all your bridges all the time just and just leave and not have any money to pay for your next month of food. Cool. It's a great story, but you know, I don't recommend it. Other than that, though, if you want to check out this entire interview, you can check it out at brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself. And if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.